Hi everyone, welcome back. So, in the past I talked a lot about properties and mortgages, but now I wanna go ahead and talk about something very important, very basic, which is credit cards. Super, super crucial to be able to purchase a lot of things. But before we begin, let's go ahead and get something really quick out of the way. All of what I am saying today is for entertainment purposes only. None of this should be taken as any sort of advice. Please make sure to do your own research. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, it is not easy getting a credit card here in Taiwan right off the bat. The first thing I would suggest and what I did is I made sure I had my own American credit cards. Make sure if you bring your own credit cards from the US that you're focusing on credit cards without foreign transaction fees. These days, a lot of credit cards do not have foreign transaction fees. So, for example, if you go into a restaurant and they accept Visa or MasterCard or American Express and you swipe your card and you pay 30 Taiwanese dollars, you will get very, very close to the international exchange rate and you will not be losing any money. Now, why would you want to be getting Taiwanese credit cards? Well, there's a few reasons. I'm going to go into that in just a second. Before we conclude, if you're coming from the US, I would strongly recommend considering the Chase Sapphire credit card. I would say that's probably one of the best choices. And if not that, maybe get United Mileage Plus or get the Hyatt credit card. These are all very, very good choices. And these are credit cards that can build points and you can use in the future. Just keep in mind that you will still have to pay that credit card balance in the United States in US dollars. So if you don't have any money in the US, be prepared to transfer money from Taiwan over to the United States. So with that out of the way, why would you want to get a Taiwanese credit card? Well, for two main reasons. The first one is just what I mentioned. It is annoying to have to send money to the United States just to pay off your credit card bills. That is a transaction cost all in itself. Every time you send money from Taiwan or from another country in Asia over to the United States, you will be transferring money from one currency to another and also paying bank transaction fees. And that can get very expensive if you do it very frequently. So that's the number one issue. But the second issue is that not every place will accept foreign credit cards. Some places only accept local Taiwanese credit cards. And when you are in a situation where your foreign credit card cannot be accepted, it can be very annoying not to have an alternative credit card ready to go and have to always carry so much cash. And it's almost always a good idea not to always carry so much cash on you for safety reasons, not to mention for some people, it's easy to lose a lot of that money because of change in the quarters. So those are the two main reasons. Now, how can you get a credit card in Taiwan? Before you can go and start applying and, and going through that process, just understand that a lot of companies in Taiwan are gonna be very skeptical about giving you credit cards. And the reason why is because they're worried that they give a credit card to a foreign national and they don't pay that credit card back. To understand how to do this, the very first step is you need to have a very decent income. I would say that in the majority of cases for companies to consider lending you or giving you a credit card, and when I say companies, I'm referring to banks, your income salary needs to be around maybe 800 to 900 to 1 million Taiwanese dollars per year. That would be around 30,000 to 33,000 to a little bit more than $36,000 a year in order to qualify to apply for credit cards in Taiwan. Don't expect to be able to apply for credit cards right away. This will certainly take time as you are working here and building your career in Taiwan, especially if you've been working for a couple of years. So that's the first thing. Secondly, what is the best way to apply for a credit card? So here's the tricky part. There's usually two routes. The first route is the bank that you work with because this is where your payroll comes in. That bank that you work with now is processing your paycheck and they understand what your income is and your total salary 
and you have a relationship with them already. This would be your first choice to go to for a banking credit card. For example, if you are banking with a company such as Fubon Bank, you want to explore those credit cards. Well, if you're being paid through Fubon Bank and your employer uses this bank to pay your salary, that would probably be the first place to explore. Go to the bank, go to the bank branch that's near your office and see if you can get a credit card with them. So that's option number one. Option number two would be, to be very specific, it would be something like Costco. So Costco always has these promotional credit cards for their members. If you are a Costco member and you want to get a Costco credit card, in Taiwan, foreign nationals can apply for that credit card as well, as long as you meet their criteria. And like I mentioned before, some of that criteria is mostly, or I should say most of that criteria is based off of salary. So make sure to have that criteria in place or at least understand that that might be something they're looking at when assessing your capability of getting this credit card. If you go to Costco, there is always a stand at every Costco that has a group of people exploring credit cards or trying to promote the credit card for that for that Costco brand, go to that counter and talk to them and speak to them and see if it is possible to apply for that Costco credit card. I would say at least for foreign nationals, that's probably one of the easiest or less difficult ways of getting a credit card here. And now the third option, and this is only for people that have already gotten credit cards before and have lived here for years, is you can go to a new bank, any bank that you're interested in their credit card and just directly interact with that bank and apply for those credit cards either online or through their branch. However, keep in mind that if banks do not have any sort of existing relationship with you, there could be a very good chance they reject you because as I said before, foreign nationals, there's a certain sense of fear here in the banking community that we won't pay back our credit cards and we will flee the island of Taiwan. So this is a, a strong fear that many banks have. So keep that in mind and don't be upset if you get rejected from some of these credit cards. Make sure if you get your credit card to always pay the full balance at the end of the month and do not be late. Treat it like any other credit card throughout the world. Don't do anything silly. Don't keep a large amount of money or credit. Make sure that you are paying your balance off so that you can maximize the value of that credit card and build credit even in a place like Taiwan. Well, with that said guys, I hope if you're able to apply for a credit card, you have the best of luck and let me know if you guys are successful in applying for them. In the meantime, wish you all the best. Until next time, see you guys.